Kabuli chana or garbanzo beans 300 grams, tea bags 4, black cardamom 2, cinnamon 2 1 inch stick, cloves 5 to 6, salt 1 teaspoon, ghee 1 tablespoon, oil 2 tablespoon, bay leaves 2 to 3, cumin seeds 1 teaspoon, onion 2 large, ground into a fine paste, 2 green chilies finely chopped, garlic paste 1 tablespoon, ginger paste 1 tablespoon, pomegranate seed 1 tablespoon coarsely ground, chili powder half teaspoon, tobot chole masala 2 tablespoon, roasted cumin seed 1 teaspoon, coriander powder 1 teaspoon, dry mango powder 2 teaspoon, salt to taste, tomatoes 3 to 4 medium, blanched and pureed, garam masala powder 1 teaspoon, ghee 1 tablespoon, carrot seeds half a teaspoon, ginger 1 inch cut into julienne's, green chilies 2 cut into julienne's, red kashmiri chilli powder half teaspoon, fresh coriander or cilantro 1 fourth cup finely chopped. First wash and soak the chole in 3 cups of water overnight and then we need to pressure cook it in a pressure cooker with some salt, tea bags, you can put the tea bags in a muslin cloth along with the spices. I have cinnamon, black cardamom and cloves. I have already done that and you can see the colour of the chole because of the tea leaves it has turned dark and also this is nicely done but if I press it that it is well cooked. Discard the muslin and now we are ready to cook. In a pot we are going to add the oil, heat oil and ghee in a pot. So once the oil is hot we are going to add the bay leaves and the cumin seeds. Once these have popped up we are going to add the onion. Uh, now you can see that the onion is turning colour and also the onions are getting cooked. To this I am going to now add the green chilies, garlic paste and the ginger paste. Give it a nice stir. You can see that the onions have now started to brown a little bit. You have to keep on stirring otherwise garlic may get burnt. To this I am now going to add the red chilli powder, coriander powder. This is a ready made store bought chole masala which I am adding. Give it a good stir. Also add the roasted cumin powder at this. Add a little bit of water and give it a good stir. Once this is all mixed through, add the tomato puree. And also add some salt. And now we are going to cover it and cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. Now you can see that the tomatoes are cooked through and also the oil has separated. It's formed a homogeneous blend with the spices and to this I am going to add the pomegranate seed powder that I have made. Mix it well. This is going to give the tartness to the chole masala. Now to this I am going to add the chole. I am going to add the liquid from the chola. We are going to cover it and cook it on simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm going to add some amchur powder. Add this depending on how tart you want the chola to be. Cover and let it simmer. Now this has been simmering for 20 minutes. You can see that the gravy has thickened out a little bit. Add the garam masala. Decrease the flame a little bit. In another pan, we're going to add some ghee. To this, I'm going to add a little bit of karam seed. Add just a little bit, otherwise it may become bitter. Some ginger, green chilies. Bit and now turn off the heat and immediately add the red chilli powder and pour this over your chana. Now you can see that the chana is ready to serve. We are going to add some fresh coriander, give it a good stir and our chana masala is ready to serve. So there you go, my amazing chole masala is ready. For this you need oil, 2 tablespoons, whole garam masala, here I am using 2-3 cloves, a cinnamon stick, bay leaf and a cardamom. You can use more or less as per your choice. Cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon, 2-3 to three green chilies finely chopped. 
टू ड्राई रेड चिलीज टू मीडियम अनियन फाइनली चॉप जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट वन टेबल स्पून टू स्मॉल कैप्सिकम कट इन टू क्यूब्स यर आई एम यूजिंग ग्रीन वन एंड द रेड वन सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट रेड चिली पाउडर वन टी स्पून कोरियांडर पाउडर वन टी स्पून गरम मसाला पाउडर हाफ अ टी स्पून टोमेटो प्यूरे वन कप वन फोर्थ कप ऑफ वॉटर और एज डिजायर पिंच ऑफ फूड कलर दिस इज परफेक्टली ऑप्शनल पनीर क्यूब्स 200 हंड्रेड टू टू फिफ्टी ग्राम फ्रेश कोरियंडर टू गार्निश फर्स्ट हीट ऑयल इन अ वॉक वेन द ऑयल इज हॉट नाउ इज अ टाइम टू एड होल गरम मसाला सिनेमिन क्लोव्स बेलीफ एंड कार्डम एंड वेन दे स्टार्ट क्रैकलिंग यू कैन एड क्यूमिन सीड्स टू इट नाउ एड फाइनली चॉप ग्रीन चिलीज गिव इट स्टर एंड एड टू टू थ्री ड्राई रेड चिलीज नाउ इज द टाइम टू एड फाइनली चॉप्ड अनियंस and give it a nice toss with the help of the spoon so that it becomes translucent and becomes light pink in color add ginger garlic paste now when you see that the ginger garlic paste and onions have, have nicely incorporated with each other add capsicum to it here i'm using green and red capsicum you can choose any color of your choice and if you don't have you can use only the green capsicum add salt to taste red chili powder coriander powder garam masala and add tomato puree to it and give it a nice toss with the help of the spoon and at this point of time adjust the water as per your need and close the flame on medium to high heat for around 5 to 10 minutes until all the herbs and spices and onions tomatoes have nicely incorporated with each other to become a thick gravy consistency now remove the lid and check Now that's the texture we are looking out for. It has started giving out the oil. At this time, add the pinch of food color. This is optional if you want. You can skip it. Add paneer cubes to it and toss it slowly so that the paneer doesn't break and it is nicely coated on all the sides with the gravy. Add fresh coriander. Now my lovely spicy kadai paneer is ready to serve. Doesn't it look lovely and colorful? 250 grams of cottage cheese or paneer cut into triangles, 1 tablespoon of oil, 4 to 5 green chilies chopped, 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds, 2 to 4 dried red chilies, 4 to 5 cloves, 1/3 cup dry coconut pieces, 4 to 5 black peppercorns, 2 bay leaves, half a teaspoon of sesame seeds, 1 inch cinnamon stick, 2 green cardamoms. 2 onions finely chopped, 2 to 3 tomatoes pureed, 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1/2 a teaspoon of garam masala powder, 1/2 a teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1/2 a teaspoon of fennel seeds, salt to taste and some fresh chopped coriander. In a heating pan, add some oil and now to this add the dried red chilies, cloves, grated dry coconut. black pepper corns bay leaf sesame seeds coriander seeds cinnamon stick green cardamom fennel seeds and cumin seeds now mix well with the help of a spoon or spatula and let them roast for around 2 to 3 minutes don't overcook it now transfer this roasted masala into a grinding bowl and grind it well to make a fine paste or powder for around 4 to 5 minutes Now our powder or the masala or the kolapuri masala is ready. Now keep it aside. Now heat up a pan and add the oil and add ginger garlic paste and saute well. Now add chopped onions and green chilies and let it cook for around a minute on low flame until soft. Next add the tomato puree, salt, red chili powder, turmeric powder and mix well. Cook for around 4 to 5 minutes and make a thick gravy until the oil starts coming out. If you want you can cover it with the lid. Now add the prepared kolapuri masala and mix it. Also add in the garam masala powder and stir it for around 2 minutes. Add very little water at this point of time if you desire. Now finally add the paneer pieces and very little fresh coriander. and mix gently with the help of a spatula so that the paneer doesn't break let it cook for another 1 minute until all the paneer is nicely coated with the gravy now serve it and you can garnish it with some more fresh coriander and a fried chili on top